All right, let's talk about where the formula for the area of a triangle comes from. For this activity, you are still going to need your pegboard if you are following along and just saw the last video on parallelograms. The first thing I'd like you to do is take your pegboard and make me a triangle from it. Make sure you use the straight edge. I want this to be a nice triangle. This time around, you're actually gonna need two of the exact same triangles. Make sure that your measurements are the exact same. You can see here what my triangles look like and how they are the exact same measurements. Now what I'd like you to do is cut both of these out and see if you can arrange them to make another shape that we were just looking at. You can see I've drawn what mine look like once I manipulate them. Does this shape look familiar? It should look just like the parallelogram that we just figured out the formula for the area to, right? All right, so remember back to parallelograms, how do I find the area of this? Well, I'm going to cut off one of these triangles and move it on over, right? And then I figured out that I could do the base times the height. So again, feel free to cut that off and do that so that you can actually see the area developing right before your very eyes. I'm running out of room here and so I'm having to squish this on the end, but you get the picture. I'm taking this triangle and I'm gonna move it over here. So now I can see that I have the base times the height to find my area for this parallelogram. So you might be thinking, okay, so the area is base times height, but wait a minute, how many triangles are on here? Two, right? So this is to find the area for two triangles. What if I just wanna find the area for one triangle. Hmm. Let's first think about what our formula is. So I know that the area for a parallelogram is base times height. That's the area for this parallelogram right here. But again, I'm not finding wanting the area for the parallelogram. I'm actually only wanting the area for just one of these triangles, right? So what am I going to do? If I made two copies of them, I need to cut it in. Ha, good job. So I know that I can say base times height, take that area and divide it by two. So again, let's just do some math here. So I know that my base is one, two, three, four, five. So it's five and I know that my height is too tall. So five times two gives me 10. And then I need to take that and divide that in half. So I have 10 divided by two, which gives me five. So my area for this is five square units. Now you might be thinking, wait a second, I thought the area of a triangle was one half base times height. Let's see if that's any different. One half base times height, I know again that my base is five, my height is two, five times two gives me 10, 10 times one half would still give me five. I can write the area of a triangle either way with either of these formulas. So you sometimes will see it base times height divided by two or one half base times height. Hopefully, you've now got a better idea of where the formula for the area of a triangle comes from and how we derive that.